Hello to everyone. This is Joanna. Happy Sunday to you. This is going to be a short video. I just want to share with you four items I picked up at Bath and Body Works along some of the things that I told you I was going to get. Really quickly though, I've had um, to retouch my nails before doing this video because the polish that I put on is starting to chip already, but I do have damage on my nails and this shade is the Sunrise Bedtime because I am going to be doing a nail care video which in my case I'm going to be talking about um, what I do after I've already caused the damage to my nails and the one thing that you can do if you peel your nails like I do or you have any grooves in there from where you've pulled that up any of your textured polishes are nice for that because it kind of covers all that up or a dark polish such as a black or a dark brown <laughs> excuse me, or anything like that. And then today I picked up some nostalgic candy. I got a pack of now and laters. Now, there were two more of these. There was a blue one and a pink one in a long pack. And I ate them. This is all that made it. And then I want to try these. I haven't tried these, but I do like butter toffee nuts. Now, on to what I'm supposed to be sharing with you. I went out to Bath and Body Works, and I do want to say quickly, this is Sunday. It's about 5 o'clock here. If you go online, um, especially those of you that get the emails, there are a lot of products that are on sale for $6 a piece. The new Coco Shea line is not a part of that, but the older scents are, and the brand new Beach line is a part of that. I tried on the Beach Spray yesterday. I was trying to decide if I thought it smelled like something familiar or not. It kind of dried down to my Snowball Coconut um, type fragrance, but I wasn't sure, and I want to go back and try it again. Also, in store, today is supposed to be the last day for the Coco Shea items at 2 for 22. Now, I wanted to go today, and I was going to do this haul after that because I wanted the oil and possibly another butter. I was going to use my coupon um, where you buy anything for $10 and get something free. That, however, lasts until I believe the 14th or the 15th because I am going to go tomorrow anyway and get something and then get one of the Coco Shea items for free. I just couldn't get the oil because the oil is priced at $16.50 like the body creams. And you know, if you get two of these for $16.50, that's like, what, $33? And if you can get two sets of two for $22, which is $44, it would make more sense to do that than to pay $33 for two items. So, what I got was this pineapple colada, Jamaica pineapple po um, colada hand cream. I do know that many of the hand creams, like I said before have lotion that go to them and our store did not have the I need a vacay pocket back but they did have the hand cream which was gone by the time I went back um, but some of those might be coming back but just in case they're not anything with a hand soap and a pocket back that I have picked up in this that I don't already have I would like to get I've kind of avoided the peach one and the um, watermelon one because I already have those like I showed um, in this size but I definitely wanted to get this, and I only got one because I was trying to spend less than $25. Now, what I did get was the Coco Shea Body Cream. I do still want this in lotion form because you heard me say I want every piece of that line. I got the Coco Shea um, Coconut. Is this called Coconut Lotion? And if I didn't say this was the honey, this was the first thing that I smelled. And then I got this. So what I did was, because this and the jelly were $16.50, I got these two for $22. And I got this lotion for free. And while my son was driving last night, that was a new surprise to me. My baby is driving. Um, I let him try this and he said he liked it. Because you heard me say that I believe that men could probably use these items in a pinch especially this because my son likes cocoa butter type lotion and I know this isn't the same thing but it does have a coconut type scent and it does dry down or he would have told me if it you know still smelled girly or anything like that so he has tried this on his hands and he did like it I have not used these yet now my little jelly here has a story Y'all know I wanted to get this before they got rid of it. Went in the store. They had none. I opened up the drawer being sneaky. They had one. I took it out. I looked at it. Nothing was wrong with it or so I thought. But I didn't realize it had a try me sticker on it when I got up to the register. 
only one person in the store that knew me. She wasn't on that side. These new girls are telling me, you can't buy that because it has a, a sticker on it. It means we've taken it out of stock. I said, but why would you keep a Try Me sticker on it if you ain't got it to sell no more and I want to buy it? Why don't you sell it to me? I bought a brand new black ice pocket back like that that had that sticker on there. They let me buy it. And I got the story about, oh, they shouldn't have done that. I said, look. I said, y'all don't have any more of this, and I don't want any other item to substitute. I want this. So then they claimed that they didn't have any more, but magically one appeared. Now, what happened was the one that I had that had the Try Me sticker that I looked at, it didn't have anything in it. Something said to look at the one that they gave me, and when I opened it up, it had fibers in it. Like, not a whole lot, but it was enough to see, and if I would not have had my contact lens out, I probably wouldn't have seen it, because my eyes are... I guess you would say whatever it is when you need to be close to something, they're, they're um, nearsighted, I guess, if that's the correct term. So, like, when you look in this, you might not, and I'm sure you probably don't see it. i got to be careful because this is running. But right in here is a little bitty fiber, just a little black fiber. And you can tell it's fiber and not a hair. But there were two or three fibers in the one that they gave me. And, of course, the girl looked and she saw it. And I said, but there were no fibers in the one that said, try me. Why don't you give me that one? Put the try me sticker on this one. They were like, oh, no, we can't do that. Then I had them give me another one. Okay, mind you, they had none. Then they magically came up with one. Then they said they were going to call someone in Henderson, which is the state or the city over from us, to see if they wanted one. Now, if someone calls me about something that I've got being held, of course I'm going to want it. But they didn't say whether she said yes or no. They just came back with another one. I went out of the store. Something said, look in it again, which is this one. And it had that one fiber in there. And I decided, what the heck, I'll just hold on to it. If I don't use it, I'll take it back and exchange it. And it's not as bad as the other one. And the only thing is, is with this type of product, you can't tell if it's been touched or not because if you dip into this and you know you've used it and then you let it sit for long enough, it's going to go back to the same form um, that it was in. Now, the difference is the one that I had that had the Try Me sticker on it, it didn't move like this one. Like I was actually able to turn that one upside down without worry. And this one I can't. Not even to try to show you what I'm trying to show you because as you can see, the product is moving. It's coming, you know what I mean? It's not sitting still like jelly. So I probably won't use this just yet, but it sure does smell good. And this item is supposed to be like the, um, is it Lush that has the jellies? I think it's Lush, not the body shop. Lush had shower jellies a long, long time ago and you just dip in, get a piece out. So... I really like the concept of this, and I do want it anyway, as odd as that sounds, because I can tell whatever happened to it isn't that bad. I mean, there's nothing else floating in it. There's no, like, discoloration or nothing like that. And it could be whatever these were made off of. I don't know, you know, debris flying around in the air. You never know. But I do want to go back, and I'm going to go tomorrow, and I hope that I can get the oil, because this item and the oil are the two things I worried about selling out, and probably the aloe gel for the um, cucumber one, but I don't want that one because I have enough aloe gels, and I will probably get one of the new aloe gels in the summer since it's coming out, but Bath & Body Works has so much stuff coming out, I'm wondering if one of the creams will smell anything at all, like the, um, is it Paris, the Paris candle, that lavender macaroon one, so... That was all that I got. Um, if anyone else has tried any of these, let me know what you think. I do still, like I said, I want the honey and the cocoa scrub, the washes to both of those, and that oil. And I do want the cream in the cocoa one, and I do want the lotion in this, even though I have this, because this type of product and that lotion I'll go through, because for me, they were nice work products, and they felt nice on the skin, and they seemed light enough for the summer. But I did say I wanted every piece of the honey line. And for this, like I said, I just want the scrub, the cream, the wash, and that oil. So that'll be the next thing I get. Now, I will say this lotion does say it has cocoa butter plus shea butter and coconut oil. I did not look at my cucumber one to see what it said. Okay, so I've got them side by side now. The cocoa shea coconut one says cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil. The Cocoa Shea Cucumber one says Cocoa Butter, Shea Butter, Cucumber Water. So, 
and they each I really did like this one when I wore it to work nobody said anything about the scent that it was too strong or anything like that and this one I'm curious about because I hear people say it smells like coconuts and it does it has that if you've ever smelled a lotion that you thought smelled nice that somebody had on and it had a coconutty scent without being like coconut sweet fragrance this smells like that and my son did like it so I definitely want to get the rest of this so if I end up getting the cream that will probably make me have the whole Coco Shea coconut line and the whole honey line but I do think this line can be used by the males in your family especially in a pinch they don't smell particularly feminine or anything like that but if any of you out there have already tried these, please let me know your thoughts. And like I said, I plan to put together a little video of um, my version of a nail care routine because I have damaged my nails. But what I've got on here is starting to come up, especially when I open up this candy. So I'm working on that. And to all the ones that asked me about a Bath and Body Works haul, I have not forgot about that. It's just that I have so much stuff, and I mean literally so much stuff, I would have to go back um, and pull out full sets, which is what I plan to do when I get ready to move. That way I can take, like, say, all of my watermelon lemonade and all of my um, Gardenia Rain products and put them together. Then I have plenty of other products where I might have a single thing. And I'm still on the fence about the beach so if any of you get the beach fragrance and you too think it smells like something, let me know what you think it smells like. That's all I have for today. Until the next time, everyone have a great Sunday and until the next time.